If you go to Google and type in golf swing early extension, then click videos, pages and pages and pages. So I just I just cut and paste the first four pages because I didn't have any any more room. But there are just endless videos on what early extension is, really standing up during the downswing and through impact, and how to fix it. Now the problem is, and we're going to look at this video right here, uh, fixing my early extension golf swing. And I'm going to tell you in advance, it didn't get fixed. And there's a reason why it didn't get fixed. And the reason why is because if you're an amateur and you lack dynamic rotational movement skills like the pros have, then this traditional setup position is the cause of early extension. The reason why is because amateurs, and this is like 90% of all golfers, lack the ability to dynamically move their lower trunk, hips, and thighs away from the ball to strike the ball crisply. So the simple fix is, and it takes, what, one second to do? Maybe three seconds. All you got to do is set the ball further away from your body to give yourself room to swing. Now, when you look at this, you might say, well, this is your, your, are you suggesting a one-plane swing? No, I'm, set, I'm suggesting setting up like this. You want to do a one-plane swing? Do it. You want to do a, a loopy swing? Do it. it doesn't make any difference. You need to make room for your arms and hands and club to swing by your body if you lack dynamic movement skills, like this guy does at Golficity. So, 100,000 people watch this. Fixing it, I'm going to tell you the event wasn't fixed, and <laughs> this here too. The good news is that fixing your early extension might not be as hard as you think. Well, if that's true, then nine months later in December, it should be fixed. Now, you can see how close his, his hands are to his body and the angle that he has between his, his, his arms and the club. This requires him to dynamically move his hips out of the way so he can swing past the ball. He can't do it. Like, I can't do it, and 99% of amateurs can't do it. Now, the problem is pros don't understand our dilemma. They, don't, they have different dilemmas. Theirs is, you know, they, they're just better, so they got problems that we don't have. So this is nine months later in December 2021 from March 2021. So here is his setup, first tee, and extension. So why, why wasn't it fixed? It's because he is standing too close to the ball for his dynamic rotational movement skills. So it gives this appearance. You stand up, you're handcuffed, and so your arms look like this through impact versus Tiger Woods, who dynamically moves his lower trunk and hips and legs out of the way and crushes the ball. So this is me. Do you think I can actually do it? I already told you I cannot dynamically move. So what did I do? I simply moved my setup back from the ball so that I can swing my arms past my body and it creates the illusion, if you just look at the arms, like I can actually dynamically rotate my, uh, my, my lower trunk and hips. So let's take a look at how pros do this. It's really amazing. We'll look at Jack Nicklaus. So this is Nicholas at the top of his backswing during his final shot at the 1967 U.S. Open to the 18th green, 238 yards, slightly uphill into a slight breeze, hitting a balata ball with a one iron. <laughs> and he hits it 20 feet from the pin and makes the putt for a birdie. It's unbelievable. So watch what he does. Top of his backswing. Now what you're going to watch is his left heel, and you're going to watch the club in the next image. So this is not the top of his backswing. I said that before. It's not the top of his backswing. Believe it or not, the top of his backswing occurs during his downswing. Watch the club drop. Watch his left heel drop. Watch the club drop. So now do you see also how he goes from a in, into a slight squatty position, more squat, and now he keeps that squat and rotates through the ball. That's what I cannot do. That's what 99% of you listening cannot do. And if you're a pro listening to this, you need to understand that 99% of us golfers out there, can't, maybe more, cannot do this. So let's look at it from the top and then squat. So Tiger Woods can do this. Tiger Woods actually even practices the squat move on the range without even hitting the ball. You see, because he knows. I mean, every pro knows you got to move out of the way, you, your, your body out of the way. The problem is that most of us cannot do it. So if we set up like Tiger, 
like Jack, like Hogan, all the rest of them, this would be the best way to look at this would, would be a driver. If you extend your arms in the club, you're talking about the, the driver head being down here. So you got to dynamically get out of the way. Some pros do Quasimodo, not too, not too many well-known pros, obviously, because this is a, a, a swing fault also. It's a compensatory movement. So is this. This is just a perfect compensatory movement. This is an imperfect compensatory movement. This is a horrific compensatory movement, which I do if I stand too close to the ball. So since I know that, I simply backed up. Now, this is where the pros are. If you sit up like this and you're not a pro, you will suffer endlessly of the, from the amateur golfer's dilemma. So you got to move back from the ball. How far do you need to move back? I needed to move all the way back. Now, how far you have to, to move back depends upon not moving your head above this line, which would indicate that you're going into extension. So let's look at me back in the summer of 2020. So as you can see the title, the primary cause of early extension is gone because I'm setting up for impact. That's the language that I use, set up for impact. Let's look at impact, boom, no early extension. And this was the image from which I captured my shoulder arm club connection from, you can see. Set up, impact. Looks like professional arms at impact. Now, I don't have the speed and the, and the, and the proper momentum transfer to hit it well, as well, I mean, not even close as those guys, but far better than the stand-up amateur move where you chicken wing and step up out of it and kite balls to the right and all the rest of the nightmarish things that happen. So you can say no amateur stand-up. Now, you can do this tomorrow or today on the range. Now, of course, you want to do it there first. Set, stand yourself back as far as you need to stand yourself back so you do not go into extension. It will then go away that day and forever. It will be gone. Well, perfectly gone? No, because I'm not really going into extension here, but look what's happening though. I am going off of my left heel a little bit, and at impact, your left heel should be flat on the ground. So I'm spinning too much. So I, by chance, came upon, thought up a drill one day, and was trying to help my nephew uh, hit the ball better. And so I, I call it the squatting driver drill. Now, if you're in healthcare, you know that any, that, uh, that, pr that techniques, procedures, and tests are often named by the author. So I'm going to call this the semen squatting driver d drill. So you're going to go to the range today and do the semen squatting driver drill. If you tell someone that, they're going to think you're a little weird. But anyway, that's what you're going to be doing. So how and why is this valuable? Well, first of all, I cannot do, I cannot squat through impact and, lose, and use my legs properly if I stand close to the ball. So doing what Tiger does here would be absolutely useless for me since I do not have the dynamic skill. So I have to physically move myself back from the ball. Now, when you do the squatting driver drill, you're going to end up having a one-plane swing. You don't have to have a one-plane swing when you do your actual swing. But notice this arrow is pointing to the same treetop in all of these four pictures, demonstrating that I did not lose posture, did not stand up, and remain squatted and using my legs. So I'm using my glutes and my legs through the swing in a fashion that I cannot do with my regular swing, especially when I'm standing too close to the ball. So let's go back to the swing that I showed you before, where, I, where, where the extension was fixed, but I was still spinning and going onto my toes. And let's look at my actual swing after working with the semen squatting driver drill. So this picture is before semen squatting driver drill, after semen squatting driver drill. Notice my left heel flat at address, slightly off the ground, top of backswing, flat downswing, flat at impact, flat through the ball, and no extension. So, you know how easy this is to do? You could totally easily do this today. All you have to do is go to the course and do number one, move yourself further away from the ball. Simple as that. Number two, do the semen squatting driver drill. Now, the thing about doing this, so that you know, it's a different swing than actually trying to hit a drive. You're trying to stay squatted and not lose your posture. 
and the goal for the, the ball should be to hit a straight shot or a slight draw. And even a push is okay because a push is not going to be a slight swing, obviously. So a slight push, straight or draw, is what you are looking for. Once you can do that, then, then stand up and do your actual swing. Now, there are lots of other things that screw us up that I outline in the book. This is the table of contents from the book. Check it out if you wish. Pause and look. Or if you wish, you can head over to Amazon Prime, type in the name of the book, and do a look inside. If, you're, if, you've, if you have the Prime membership and have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it right there for a very reasonable price. Otherwise, clearly, way less than the cost for a golf lesson. And unfortunately, no golf lessons are they going to teach you to do, do what I just showed you there, because what I just showed you in this video is not about swinging a golf club. It's, it's, it's a kinesiological fix that has really nothing to do with golf itself. It's a kinesiological uh, lever fix, which anyone can do, you can do it, and then eliminate or drastically eliminate your early extension.